Hi, everyone. My name is Mike Barmundi. I am an IGEL business development manager located in Seattle, Washington. As we all know, this current outbreak has caused massive issues and disruptions in our daily lives. I'm here in my house in Seattle, um, weathering it. Um, I have a four and a half year old daughter, two dogs. You might see one jumping around here in the background as I record this. But it's been a surreal experience for everyone. Um, IGEL has some unique solutions that can help ease the distraction, the burden you have from working at home that I think could be helpful that I want to demo to you today. So really quickly, um, I'm going to be using one of these. This is an IGEL UDP or UD Pocket, which essentially is the IGEL operating system on a USB stick. You can take this, plug it into any x86 device, which could be Intel or AMD based, boot off it in a dual boot scenario, right? Keep the current operating system of the device you're booting from installed and boot purely from this into a read-only secure IGEL operating system. So let's do it. I'm going to switch over to my, my wife's laptop and we can go from here. Here is her laptop. It is a Dell Latitude, an older one. I'm going to simply plug in UD Pocket and I'm going to restart the laptop and boot from it. Now, the hardest uh, piece of this uh, is going to be ensuring that your users from home know how to boot their device from USB. Uh, we have some KB articles on the IGEL website that can help with this. Um, it could be a hotkey. It could be that you have a methodology to set it in the BIOS. However, that is, um, we have some documentation on it to help you through that. Once it is booted, obviously you can see there's a legacy boot option and UEFI, UEFI boot as well as secure boot. We support all these, including secure boot to, um, based on your environment to make things work. I'm going to simply pick the USB storage device and boot into that very quickly. So what the IGEL operating system is, is it's an operating system that uses all the current protocols and workspace constructs like Citrix, VMware, Microsoft Windows Virtual Desktop, and even Amazon Workspaces to make things work. What you're going to see is a demo on how to enable some of these to connect back to the environments that you have set up for these. Now, IGEL doesn't create these environments. We're simply a vehicle to get to these environments, and that can include apps, it could include data, uh, it, cl it could include uh, things like uh, Microsoft Teams as an application, as you can see working here as it boots. Part of this system is obviously figuring out how to manage all these devices. So the IGEL OS has a companion product that is included with it called the IGEL UMS, or Universal Management Server. I'm going to switch over to that really quick and share my screen and show you what that looks like. So as you can see on my screen, this is the IGEL management server that can be used to manage tens or even thousands of devices. Part of the solution beyond actually creating profiles or different feature sets for what you want to connect to and applying those to your devices is actually shadowing and remote controlling those devices in a secure manner. Simply right click clicking the device that I have here and clicking on shadow brings up a dialogue and shows it's secured. I can even put in a password if I needed to and I can quickly connect to it. This is the laptop that I showed you boot from, and here are all my different uh, pieces that I can connect to right here. Now, obviously, most of you will use probably just one of these, like you only have Citrix or you only have VMware, but I'm gonna show you and demo a couple of these. So number one, um, when I double click on Citrix, uh, based on the configuration from the IGEL UMS, I can instantly log on. I can give users the option to put in their own credentials, however you'd like to do that. Uh, on the IGEL desktop, it will publish these applications as well once it logs in. The other piece that IGEL has is the ability to sideload applications. What we mean by that is we can install applications like Microsoft Teams directly on the desktop, which gives you the ability to run uh, your, this uh, collaboration tool. It could be Teams. It could be uh, something like Slack. But it gives you the ability as long as there's a, a Linux build for that piece of software to actually run, install, and use this very quickly and easily. As you can see here, I'm logging into Teams. It might take me a second. And once I'm logged on, I can get full access to all the Teams pieces with the native app working on the IGEL desktop, not necessarily in a Citrix or a VMware session. So as that's loading, you can see here in Citrix, I can actually launch applications. There comes my Teams coming up. So I can minimize that. And once the storefront loads the Excel 2016, again, this is working in my demo environment. Your environment may be much quicker, much more fast. But you can see here 
uh, it will bring up Excel in just a second and I can work uh, using published applications in Citrix just like that. The last piece I wanted to show you is the ability to connect to the new Microsoft Windows Virtual Desktop Environment. Obviously, this is a great public cloud-based resource that allows you to use Windows in the cloud to connect to. Here, I'm logging in with my credentials. Uh, iGel is right now the only Linux-based uh, operating system that supports a Windows Virtual Desktop client and that has one that you can connect with. So here, I'm just simply clicking on the desktop that's presented to me. And now I have access to my Windows Virtual Desktop in the Azure Cloud. It's even back to where I was demoing before. <laughs> so I'm right on the, the BBC's website. You can see this is a full-blown uh, Windows 10 desktop. Very cool stuff. When I'm done here, I can simply disconnect my session. And then at this point, I can log off of Citrix. So like any users, when they're done using their workspace, at this point, I'll stop sharing and I'll show you the laptop about what I mean. I can simply come over to the laptop. I can pull out the UD pocket and I can reboot my device back to the operating system that it was installed with. So this will boot right back to Microsoft Windows at this point in just a moment here so that my wife can continue working. And now the iGel environment is now completely gone. It's on that USB stick and any work that was done was saved through uh, the Citrix or the WBD session that was at hand. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you stay safe and we'll talk soon. Thank you.